Welcome back to the greenhouse everyone. I'm just out here filling some of these little perforated cups here, making some more mass for our biofilter, more roots, and adding more things to draw up nutrients and filter the water for our little pond. And it's actually working quite well. I can see a couple feet down into the pond, almost to the bottom here. So we're on to something with the biofilter. But as I sit here and work away in the greenhouse, listening to news and statistics and data about America today, I can't help but feel saddened about the state of our country right now, how expensive everything is, hyperinflation going on, and it makes me sad to think about my children's future. So that really drives me to work harder and do more and share all of this with my children. Behind the scenes, we are all doing this every single day. I'm just trying to learn everything I can and pass that on to the next generation, my children and their children after them. I'm trying to pass all the traditions and knowledge and skills down the line is very, very important, especially today. I take pride in being a father and especially during these struggling hard economic times we are in some hardships everything is hyperinflated everything's super expensive so being able to show my kids my struggle and being able to provide for them and being able to show them the way that is the utmost important thing they're going to be able to take over this farm. They're going to be able to take over our small business of selling plants and produce. And they're always watching and they're always learning from you. So being the best example that you can be is very, very important, whether it comes to money making skills and diversifying your money making skills, having a couple different side hustles going on, or whether they're picking up on survival skills. There is a lot that can be done harvesting, foraging, that can still be done today. It is all around us. People just don't know what to look for most of the time. And my kids are definitely watching and picking up on the self-sufficiency skills. They think it's very cool and it's very important. I'm glad that they find interest in it because being boys, they're going to find it interesting to be able to create our own stuff, harvest animals, harvest plants, grow this stuff, make money off of it, and kind of enjoy ourselves while we're doing it. But what they don't understand is that they're learning essential skills that are going to help them through life. And a lot of that is not getting passed down through generation to generation. A lot of it is, but there's a lot lost. So trying to share with your friend, with your neighbor, with your nephew, anybody you know, if you've got some type of skill, share that skill. Teach somebody how to do something. It's very important these days when it's so hard to survive in America. Everything is hyperinflated. Here comes some hyssop going in this little pot here. We're gonna stick that in there. I'll show everybody what I'm doing at the end here. So as all the old ways, skills are being lost and forgotten about, pushed to the wayside, and as all the prices are skyrocketing, that sacred American dream is getting further out of reach for lots of people. So being more self-sufficient is the only way to survive these days. The average American had the dream to be able to buy a house, start a family, and retire somewhat comfortably. You're having to choose between one of these three things anymore. It's becoming very hard for everybody to have them all. And it is a sad situation how expensive everything is becoming and how hard it is to survive in America. We've got a little Brandywine tomato going in there. Tomatoes grow crazy amounts of roots, so I'm not really growing this to harvest from it. I'm more so growing it just to filter the water and clean our pond up in a natural way. Now, no matter what the government is telling us, which I check up on what their stats are, they say unemployment is at all-time lows. Jobs are out there and people are making decent money. The market is not volatile. Whatever they say, you cannot believe everything you read from the government. Now, I see it, you see it, us regular people see it every time we go to a local grocer, whether we fill our gas tank up, just about any time we buy anything these days, we are spending more than we ever have in the past. So our dollars are not going as far. Raising the minimum wages is just making things worse. Trying to compensate, but it's not working. Raising the minimum wage is actually making things worse. 
things are less affordable because they have to pay more to all of those employees at fast food restaurants, etc. So things are not getting better. They're not going to get better for the foreseeable future. So it doesn't look too bright in America's future right now, but doing everything we can for our own selves and not relying on the government as much as they want us to it's hard i know not everybody has access to clean water or ability to grow food i i understand that it's very very hard everybody's got to work three jobs just to survive on a positive note i've got a little bit of sweet basil going in this pot basil grows amazing amount of roots also i want to see what this basil does inside our little bio filter here so whether it's small scale or whether it's large scale whether you're growing on your little patio porch grow as much as you can do as much as you can and save as much money penny pinch what you can by doing what you can and getting proactive to make your life a little bit easier a little bit better a little bit more enriched even up to the full spectrum of having a couple acres of land to be able to grow on that is a godsend we are blessed to be able to do this to be able to share all of this and to just be able to show the next person the next generation your offspring my offspring the best way to live and how to be humble how to treat everybody properly there is so many things going wrong right now in America the loss of knowledge is very concerning I have a book from my late grandmother here now this book is from like 67 or 68 the book on self-sufficiency as you can see I've got a million bookmarks in here and I'll just open up to the first bookmark the one acre farm now this book basically shows you what you need to be doing one acre and you could probably survive on a good bit of land yes one acre not everybody can purchase one acre of land I understand that but we started on a quarter acre and we did a lot of permaculture and a lot of growing of annuals and we produced an abundance we're able to save sell and really reap the benefits of being proactive in our own lives and in our own food chain the food is not even worth what we're having to pay for it because most of it is just poisoned anyway. So being able to take control of that wheel and steer it back in our favor, that's what we need to be doing as a country. We need to be sharing everything we can, all these skills with everybody we can. You might be able to change somebody's life and you might not even know it. So if you want to see more of the self-sufficiency book, I may do some type of podcast on that and just read the whole darn book because it is quite interesting there is a lot a lot of skills that are in this book that you could basically just survive off of this book if you had a little bit of land this thing would show you what to do so that's another thing you can find pretty darn cheap books at secondhand stores and nobody really buys books anymore so they're darn cheap you can pick up whatever gardening self-sufficiency books survival books those are awesome to have great knowledge to keep and it doesn't get lost when the internet goes down. You don't require power to be able to read a book. So very, very important to keep those books around. So I'm kind of done with my rant and rave. Uh, it's a tough time to be in America. It's tough to watch what's going on in America. I don't really want to speak any more on it. I don't want to take any sides. I just see a lot of problems and hopefully we can get to fixing them soon here before it's too late for our country as a whole. So let's take a look at what we've actually got going on. So let's take a look here at what I was doing. We've got this hyssop here just in some rock and these little hydroponic pots or whatever they are. I got them for free or I traded something for them at the local market or farmer's market. We're all the time getting free pots from people because people know how much we do, how much we grow, and all the stuff we've always got going on. Our greenhouse is full of plants right now. We've got this basil in here. This will grow massive amounts of roots. And we've got this little tomato. I've got a few more of these cups I want to fill up. And as these roots start to grow, they will just start to expand and really filter that water. I don't know if you can see that, but this mint roots, they're just covered in little bits of algae and filtering all those nutrients out. So we've got some of our echinacea here, some echinacea flowers, mint. We've got lemon balm. We've even got a uh, hosta growing over here. 
And you can see that little guy right there. That little spider there. We're bringing in all types of life just based off this little one water source here. I'm gonna go ahead and feed the fish a little bit. I don't think my son will mind. He's running around somewhere out there in the rain probably. Yep, I don't think he's fed them today yet. They're jumping at the bit here. I absolutely love having this pond out here. It is awesome to have all of these living creatures always moving around, always doing something. It's just peaceful to be able to have a little pond in the greenhouse. I really enjoy it. I think I will always have some type of water feature that has some type of life in it. So if you're still here and you made it to the end of this video, I congratulate you. Thank you very much. Before it gets too much longer here, I just want to state that we need to be sharing information with anybody we can. You might be able to change somebody's mind. You might be able to change their life and set them in a whole new direction. You might give them the inspiration they need to find success. So as dreary as this topic was, it's just on my mind it's dragging on everybody's mind I want it to be a little more enlightening I want to encourage people I want you to get out there be more proactive I don't want to drag everything down and just beat it down like the news does to us so do whatever you can for yourself share with your neighbor share with your children share with the next generation share these videos and let's make the world a better place together